Floating and Sinking, written by Honey Anderson, illustrated by Meredith Thomas. Objects that float stay at the top when they are put into water. Objects that sink go to the bottom when they are put into water. Try this. You will need water, one feather, one stone. Put the feather into the water. What happens? Put the stone into the water. What happens? Does the feather float or does it sink? Does the stone float or does it sink? Now try this. You will need water, one small round stone, one big flat stone. Put the stones into the water. What happens? Do they both take the same time to sink? Now try this. You will need water, one table tennis ball, one big rock. Put the table tennis ball and the rock into the water. What happens? Does a small object float or does it sink? Does the big object float or does it sink? Now try this. You will need water, one pin, one big plastic toy. Put the pin and the toy into the water. What happens? Do small objects always float? Do big objects always sink? Now try this. You will need water, one cork, one thumbtack. Put the cork and the thumbtack into the water. What happens? Do they both float? Put the thumbtack onto the cork. Does the thumbtack float now? Now try this. You will need water, some big objects, some small objects. Put into a, a group the objects that you think will float. Put into a group the objects that you think will sink. Put the objects into the water one at a time. Do the objects that you thought would float really float? Do the objects that you thought would sink really sink? Do some objects sometimes float and sometimes sink?